training. Great training. Hello and welcome to another City Update. I'm Deborah Cedillo Dugan, and you heard it from the fans. It's spring training time and we're at Maryville Baseball Stadium in the heart of Maryville. I'm with Chris Shaheen. He's the stadium manager. Chris, it's great seeing you. Thanks for being here. Welcome to the ballpark. Well, I love the ballpark. So we have the <laughs> Brewers today and San Francisco Giants. Yes, 105 start. Okay, 105. We're, we're looking forward to the game here. So tell us a little bit about the stadium and how you got into this, uh, how you got into this great gig. I uh, went to school in Minnesota, uh, got an internship with the Minnesota Vikings and the athletic department, uh, moved out here 22 years ago, got a job with the Phoenix Firebirds, uh, Arizona Fall League, and then the San Francisco Giants, and then once they opened Maryville in 1998, I came over here, ran stadium operations, and uh, now I'm the stadium manager. Wow, now this is a dream job, I'm sure, for any little guy who wants to be in baseball. So tell, let's talk about the stadium. It, seats about 10,000 people. You have some state-of-the-art equipment going on here. Yeah, there's 10,000 seats, uh, 7,000 actual seats, 3,000 lawn seats. Uh, we've won some awards for ADA, uh, disability, handicap. Uh, we just upgraded the weight room on the major league uh, facility and also on the minor league facility. Wow, this is so exciting to be out here because who doesn't love baseball? Yeah. So we just opened up the gates, the, the stand, the crowd's coming in. So give us the kind of the rundown. There's practice and how does it, how does it work out? Uh, team comes out about 10 a.m., start warming up, practice till about noon. Uh, we open the gates at 11.30, let the fans in, and then uh, the game's on. I uh, walk around, make sure uh, there's no problems and put out fires. And, no day is the same, so it's always fun. Which is fun. Okay, there's lots of activities to do here. Of course, there's food, there's drink, there's some activities for the kids. These lawn seats, I think, are kind of my favorite seats, and they're very affordable for everyone. Oh, yeah, they're only $8, and they never change the prices. And a lot of fun for the kids to be out here playing catch and uh, catch some home run balls. Uh, everybody likes kind of the slope of our grass. Uh, they can lay on their back and you can still watch the game. Okay, give me a typical day of being a manager for this, for this particular stadium. Well, I come in. But, or is there a typical day? Well, yeah, there, I mean, every day is different. I've got a good staff. They've been here with me, so we kind of know the basics to get the stadium ready, especially at this point. You know, we're have, almost halfway through the season. Everybody kind of knows where they need to be. I've got people that have been here five, ten years, and so I kind of let them do their job, and then I kind of make sure everybody's in the right spot and, like I said, put out fires if needed. So, Chris, you're a busy guy. Every day is a different day. This stadium is not used for baseball all year round, or is it? 90% uh, of the time, you know, we have high school state tournament, regular season uh, boys baseball, men's leagues. We have some festivals, 4th of July, our Light Up the Sky Festival, uh, Telemundo Health Fair in October, uh, national men's tournaments, uh, some camps, some clinics. So we definitely stay busy throughout the year. It's not just spring training. Plus the Brewers, they're always on the minor league side. You've got rookie league and uh, instructional league. Uh, extended spring training. They send rehab guys down here. So yeah, we're always busy out there. You're you are busy now. On game day, you're you're busy troubleshooting. But there's a lot of maintenance and a lot of a lot of other work that goes into pre pre preparing for a game. Tell me a little bit about that. Uh, yeah, I'd say maintenance and operations are probably the two main areas we focus on. Uh, the facility is 19 years old. So like anything, whether it's your house, your car, yourself. You know, you need a little more maintenance here and there, you know, as the season goes by. Uh, I have a great staff. Uh, my grounds crew, they take care of the fields. John Neighbor and Robert Daly, along with the grounds crew, they do a great job with the fields. And then you have building maintenance, which is basically everything off the field. Uh, my building maintenance worker, Dan Dunlap, has worked with me since uh, we opened up the park in 1998. And it's like anything. you, you got to either paint it, fix it, or replace it. And uh, then you go to operations. You're dealing with Major League Baseball rules and policies, City of Phoenix rules and policies, and you got to work those all together with your security, your parking, your ushers, Phoenix PD, the EMTs, and everybody's got to be on the same page. A lot so of moving parts to this game. Yeah, and I'm kind of the, what keeps it together, you know, the glue. Make sure everybody knows what they're supposed to do, and uh, that everybody has a good time when they come out to the park. 
There you go. So you heard it from Chris firsthand. It is spring fever, which means spring training fever, I should say. And it's baseball time. Come on down to Maryville Baseball Stadium. Check out some games. Come visit Chris. Say hello. And uh, go Brewers. Go yeah. Giants. I don't know. Go I'm kind Brewers. of a Washington Nationals and D-backs <laughs> fan. So for City Update, I'm Deborah Cedillo Dugan. Every team is a winner. Every player is going to make the team. It's awesome.